All right, this is another one of our Halo War strategies, and this is the Warthog Rush. All right, so the first thing you need to do when you start off is start off as Professor Anders because she can upgrade to the gunner ability a lot faster and for a lot less money. All right, so the first thing you need to do when your game starts up is supply pad, reactor, supply pad, supply pad, supply pad, warthog in that order. And then send out your warthog that you start out with to go gather supplies. Alright, so we're up against the Arbiter right now, which is pretty much the worst case scenario because the Arbiter by himself can just take down Warthogs with his rage ability. So when we go in, we're going to make sure that we have enough money for a disruption bomb so we can completely disable him. Alright, when you have 150, make sure you're always building Warthogs. Alright, and after your reactor builds and you have 125, upgrade those three Warthogs to Gunner. And make sure they're always just gathering supplies. Gunner, 150, go build another Warthog. Yeah, like we were talking about earlier, when we go into this, we really want to make sure we have 450 for that disruption bomb. And there's the Arbiter right there. So if he starts his rage thing, we're going to put out the disruption bomb immediately. But it looks like he's running away. So we're going to head over to his base and start taking out his temple and get a head start on things. Alright, his temple's in the back here. And that's the first thing we're going to take out. Because when we take out that Arbiter, we do not want any more of those. Because we're only going to have a disruption bomb once. Alright, so the Arbiter's back right here, and he started attacking my guys, so I'm going to throw out a Disruption Bomb as soon as I can. Okay, so he's pretty much useless now, so we got to take him out within this minute and in the range of that Disruption Bomb, or else we're pretty much screwed. And if he starts running away, chase after him, because this is the only chance that you're going to get. Alright, so that's pretty much the main battle right there, is we just took out the Arbiter, so now it's pretty much a matter of destroying his base and any units that he puts out. And now you don't have to save up 450 for that disruption bomb, so you can go ahead and build warthogs as fast as you can. Alright, so he started building some units over here from the center of his base, and he's building a hall. And the, uh, the Y ability for the warthogs is a ram. That works really good against infantry, but it also takes down their health. So if you have one or two warthogs on the outside that you want to use to do that, that works good. But I wouldn't recommend having all your warthogs going at once against a huge army of infantry and doing the Y attack because it takes down their health pretty quick. Alright, so he's spitting out infantry pretty quick, so we're going to go destroy the infantry that he already has out, and then we're going to go destroy the hall. Alright, we got a rebel base over there that's starting to shoot at us, so I'm just going to move my guys a little bit closer to avoid the fire. Alright, so we've got that hall destroyed, so I'm going to check out in the back and see what he's building back there. And it looks like he's got a temple up, so we're going to destroy that, but he resigned because he knew it was over. Alright, so that is the Warthog Rush with Professor Anders. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.